What's going on guys? You already know what it is. Another day in paradise. So today it's match day. I have a match and I woke up this morning with my groin feeling a lot better than it did yesterday and the day before. So that's definitely a good sign that I am recovering pretty fast because usually pulled groins or strained groins take about two to three weeks to heal. But because I'm healthy and I have a good diet and I'm young, things heal faster than normal. So I'm pretty excited for the match. The coach texted me this morning actually asking me and double checking if I'm going. So I told him, yes, I'm going. So right now I'm going to get ready and I'm going to head to the game. I am starting this vlog a little late today just because this morning I slept in because last night I was up editing late and I needed to rest and make sure I had enough sleep for today for the match. So unfortunately I couldn't get Adrian's game. I didn't go. He actually woke me up in the morning and he asked me if I wanted to go and then I said, yeah, I'll go. But he's like, no, just get some rest, man. You look tired and you have a game tonight that's more important. When I get back from the match, I will talk to Adrian about how his match went. I talked to him briefly about it and he said that they won, so they won the championship. But you guys will get more detail about it later when I get back from the game. So right now I'm going to get ready and I'm going to head to the spot that we're going to meet. And then we're all going to head to the game, which is about 30 miles away from Madrid in a small town. So... It's kind of interesting that we are playing against a small team in a small town. So I'm pretty excited. I get to see a new part of Spain and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the match goes well. Hopefully we get the win and uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. What's going on guys? I'm here with Eduardo. We're heading to the game. He's going to record the game. He's not playing today because He's injured still and he's not fully recovered so he doesn't want to play on his injury and make it worse, unlike me. I'm doing exactly the opposite, playing on my injury, but you gotta take risks. But no, it doesn't hurt that bad, honestly. I think I'll be okay. So he's gonna report the whole match and hopefully I have some good highlights and hopefully I play well. I'm gonna play well. So the match is about an hour away because it's like 40 miles away like 50, 60 kilometers, it's pretty far. So it's gonna take a minute to get there. So we're heading there now and uh, I'll see you guys at the field. What's going on guys? So I'm going to do a commentary of my highlights and I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> so right here, I get the ball, turn the guy, dribble past a couple guys and get fouled. <laughs> Right here I collect the ball, I split the defenders looking for a 1-2 but I don't get the ball back. Here I collect the ball with my chest, triple past three guys and we score. Here I collected the ball and passed it to my defender and note I always look over my shoulders before I receive a ball so I get it right to him I know exactly where he is. Here I play a simple one touch to the back because there's three defenders around me and played safe. This part of the game is when I got injured. It was the second half, 20 minutes in, and the guy fouls me and I step wrong and I try to keep my balance when I should have maybe just fell to the ground and I hear a pop in my inner thigh and that's when I realize I need to step off the field because I felt it. <laughs> What's going on guys? Morning after the match. Last night I went home and I felt terrible. Absolutely terrible. I don't even know where I got this injury. 
It felt like near my groin, but it wasn't my groin. It was kind of in the inner part of my thigh. And I felt a pop there last night when you saw that clip when I started limping off the field. I heard a pop and I knew that I had to get off the field because if I continued playing, it wouldn't have been good. I honestly pondered about it and I really wanted to keep playing and I was honestly thinking about playing, but it wouldn't have been the best idea. I probably would have made it 10 times worse. So last night I got home and I was in so much pain. I didn't even sleep last night because the inner part of my thigh was just aching in pain and I just couldn't sleep because I was just feeling so much pain. And I was really worried last night because it felt like it was something really serious and I felt like I was gonna be out for months. But I woke up this morning, I took some ibuprofen, I iced it, and it honestly feels a lot better, but I know I'm gonna actually be out for probably a week or two weeks because this is an injury and I did feel a pop, so maybe there's a micro tear or something or some type of tear. I don't even know exactly what it is. I'm gonna get it checked up soon and I'll keep you guys updated on what exactly it is. But I'm gonna be out on injury for a little bit until I can get back onto my journey. But this is what happens, you know, it's life. In football, there's always gonna be injuries. No matter who you are, no matter where you play, no matter how old you are, there's gonna be injuries, but it's about how you handle and how you react to these injuries to get through it healthy and get through it stronger than you were before. So I was worried about it at the beginning, but now I calmed down a little bit. It does feel like it's getting better, but at the same time, there is still pain there. And 100%, I cannot play right now. If you put me in a field right now, I would not be able to play because I'd be in pain. So I'm gonna let myself recover, take the next couple of days off, see how it is. And who knows, maybe it could take a couple of days, maybe it could take a week and I can get back into it. But I just gotta take it day by day and see exactly how I feel. Last night, the match went really well. We ended up winning 3-0 and I was involved in a lot of the action. The first half I played so well, but Eduardo was actually also playing in the defense and he could not record the first half. The coach actually started me in the game and I was creating chance after chance after chance after chance and I was dribbling well, I was passing well, and I was definitely changing the game every time the ball came into my feet. The second half, I touched the ball a little less, and you guys only saw 20 minutes in because 20 minutes in, I got injured and I had to get subbed out. So unfortunately, I apologize. I wish I could have shown you more, but with the circumstances that I was in, I could not get anyone to record because the game was far and there was nobody that could travel that far to record the game. But next time, hopefully the game isn't that far and I can get you guys some full match highlights. But yeah, the match was just really, really well. I'm not gonna lie, I played really, really, really well. And the coaches saw that, the players saw that, and everyone at that moment just respected me a lot. So I'm really proud with the fact of how I played. The only downside is the injury. And what happened, if I'm going to explain it briefly, I was dribbling, I got past this guy, and while I was getting past him, he kind of pushed me instead of going for the ball, and I landed a little weird when he pushed me, and when I landed weird on my right foot, I felt a pop in my inner thigh, and it just didn't sound good, so I had to stop and get subbed out. So, like I said, I'm going to hopefully get through this fast and get back to grinding, get back to hard work, and get back to the journey. The fact of the matter is everything went well. I couldn't have played a better game. And the coaches were very happy. The president was very happy with me. He pulled me to the side after and said, you played really, really well. And we like you so much. We want you to be part of the team. We want you to sign with us on Tuesday. We're gonna get all the paperwork done and you're gonna be part of the team. So I was like, okay, let's do it. And I'm ready to sign the papers. So I'm really happy with this. Eduardo is also gonna sign with the team. So me and Eduardo are gonna to play together and hopefully I can play with them as soon as possible. So yeah, it was a good night. It was a great game. And I'm glad that I went, even though there's some unfortunate circumstances, I'm still happy with the whole outcome so that concludes this video thanks for making it to the end of the video if you liked it smash that like button if you're new hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video